Hey, we're back. Mark here from The Average Kitchen. Mark with a C. Today we are doing the brand new Ninja Belgian Waffle Maker. So we're gonna go straight out of the book here to follow the instructions for the classic scratch waffle. We have our wet and we have our dry ingredients. And I'll run through those real quick with you. Wet ingredients, we got three large eggs, three tablespoons canola oil, and two cups of whole milk. And then on this side, we've got two and one third cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons baking powder, three tablespoons sugar, two teaspoons salt. So full disclosure, I am not the baker in the family. My wife's an amazing baker, but this is the average kitchen, so we're gonna try and work through this. So what they suggest is to use a whisk to completely mix your dry ingredients, and then we'll use a second whisk to whisk our wet ingredients. So what they suggest is to slowly add your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients and mix everything so you have a consistent smooth batter. And then they suggest let it sit for five minutes, let it rest for a full activation of the leaveners. The leaveners. So we certainly don't want to mess with the leaveners. And I don't even know if I'm saying that word. Am I saying that right, Jamie? Ja Jamie's smarter than I am. Leaveners, maybe. Leaveners, leaveners. All right, so now we're gonna start to blend in our wet mixture into our dry mixture. And you can probably see by our overhead camera here that it's a little bit thick to start. And we're gonna just slowly mix all of our dry and wet ingredients together. And you can see how they like to sort of, the dry likes to sort of hang onto the sides. So we're going to, um, Make sure we get all of that. And we got a little surprise here as well. A little sneak peek. We're gonna do a dessert waffle and we're gonna use the brand new Ninja Creamy ice cream maker, which we've already shot a video on and released. Apparently, Jamie tells me, very hard to buy right now. Hard to find. So we got one right away, ordered it from the States. And I can tell you, my kids love it. So I think that's quite well blended. So I'm literally gonna set a timer for five minutes to make sure that we give enough time or the suggested amount of time for this to uh, rest. In the meantime, they suggest turning on your uh, waffle maker. There's five settings. So I think what we're gonna do, what Jamie and I decided we're gonna do is we're gonna do, the, the five settings are the five shade settings. So we're gonna do a number one, a number three, and a number five. So light, medium, dark. Uh, everybody has a preference, I guess. We're gonna see how that differs. So the only accessory that this product comes with is this pouring cup. This one batch will make four to five waffles. We'll give that our five minutes and then we'll get it fired on. All right, we're rolling up, as you can see, on five minutes here. Jamie just made a comment, which I think is uh, very valuable to say, you can't really make it any easier. There's not a whole lot to the product. It's got the, uh, we didn't catch it on camera, but it's got the typical Ninja Beep if you've used Ninja products before when it's ready. So what's kind of interesting is it'll illuminate in red while it's preheating, then it goes green. So it tells you it's ready to work. As soon as you put the batter in, it will then turn red again. When the waffle is complete and finished, it will then turn green again. So we will time it just for fun to see how long that that process takes. Our batter is looking nice. I think our leaveners are doing what they're supposed to be doing. I don't even really know, but we'll say that they are. So it says to fill it to the medium line. So I could see already that this is going to be messy. Trying to minimize mess here in attempts to avoid extra cleanup. But I think mess is probably going to happen. But let's see. All right, so we're going to pour that in. Wasn't too bad. Now they don't talk about a spatula, but I mean, you cannot do this without a spatula. So of all the videos we've done, and if you're a fan of the show, which we hope you are, we're generally not big instruction guys. Well, I gotta go home guys. I'm gonna sit on the toilet and read comic books. But with this, because neither of us are like bakers, we're like, okay, we're gonna follow the instructions. So it should be, it's what Ninja t told us to do. I, I don't know about this little bit up here. I don't know if it's overfilled or what's up. But it's nice looking. It doesn't want to come out, but it's nice looking. All right. We fought through a little adversity there. 
there's some, I guess, uncooked batter here. <clears throat> and you know, I said to Jamie, I don't think we overfilled it. We, we filled it with the cup that, and to the line that they suggested. Now, in fairness, this is on a number one, right, Jamie? So, I mean, that's a waffle. That's your waffle. That is hot. That is hot. Use the handle, Mark. Use the handle. So let's try a three. So that's green right now. So it's telling us it's ready. It's saying, fill me up. There's gonna be mess, Mark. You gotta just work through it. All right, so four and a half minutes on that one. You can still see this sort of raw batter up here. I don't know if, I mean, we're not overfilling it, but maybe we should put a little bit less. So that one actually stayed up top versus coming down. Okay, well that's neat. So I mean, that is a really, really nice looking waffle. That being said, I mean, we'll do it, but a, a number five, I gotta think it's gonna be way too dark, but let's, let's just try it. And I said to Jamie, I think that you just have to be at peace with the fact that you're gonna have some drips. It's going to make a bit of a mess. It's unavoidable and you just gotta clean it up afterwards. All right, so we just beat five and a half minutes. You'll see that this one didn't bubble up to the top. It actually, when you look down inside of it, looks like it could potentially let Jamie come around and just get a look. It looks like it almost uh, could use more batter, but let's have a look. All right. We got a waffle with a funky hairstyle. And as you can see through here, there was missing batter. There's gonna have to be some trial and error with trying to see what the perfect amount of batter is. So we do have enough to make at least one more. So I think we'll do, do you wanna do a four or a two? Let's do a two. Jamie brings up a good point as he always does during these videos. He said, if you were cooking these uh, waffles for a family of four, like I have, and you're looking at four to five minutes per waffle, you would be standing here for 25, 30 minutes to make a batch of waffles for everybody to have breakfast. So that is a point of, to, to take note of, that it does take time to get multiple waffles cooked. Yes, so it's, it would be just sort of as you go. So what I'm looking at here, like it looks like it needs more, but at one point it sort of bubbled up, but I may just try to add, again, it's, I think it's gonna be one of those things that you have to try numerous times uh, making these. To, to come out with the perfect, I guess, level of, of where you want. As it is right now, when I look down inside of this, it's it looks filled, and you'll see it'll start to bubble. But time will tell. All right, so number two, again, as you can see, this one looks like it was slightly overfilled versus um, the last one, and I mean, it's, it's almost not even measurable to, to, to try to figure out the, the difference uh, between the one to the next, but we're doing our best. So that's the number five. That's the number one, right? That's the number three. Yep. And this is the number two. So, so far the number two to me looks basically perfect. So I was able to sort of scrape my large stainless steel bowl here to uh, get one more batch. So that will give us a total of five waffles on one batch. So I'm gonna pour that one in. And we're gonna do that on number four. So essentially what we've done is every setting for you guys. All right, so it appears that not by design, almost by luck, we pretty much almost had the perfect amount. As you can see here, there's less residual mess, I guess, if you will. Now, I'm gonna say, based on the view of this, uh, I'm probably leaning more towards like a number three as far as cook time on what I would prefer uh, myself. Now, there's obviously a lot of structural integrity to this where it's, it's quite firm. I think what we'll do now is cut into them and try them. All right, so number one, just gonna rip this with my hands here. Uh, one for my buddy, Jamie. Jamie, if you will. One for me. I grabbed forks, but hey, let's just dip. I really like how light and fluffy this one is. Now these do tear actually quite nice. So darkness number two. 
Mm, that's going to be very hard to beat. Number three. No. Four is hot off the press. Warm is one. No. Can already tell. But hey, let's try it. Okay. Number five. So good. But I'm going to say number three, hot. Jamie, what are your thoughts? It's definitely a two or a three. I'm going to clear all this and then we're going to make a dessert waffle with a scoop of Ninja Creamy ice cream. All right, we got waffles for days here. As you can see, we just did another batch of the dessert waffle, which varies slightly with um, a little bit more sugar and some vanilla extract. But you can see I got the old Ninja Creamy here, but we're gonna use it in this video as well. So this ice cream is pre-made, uh, which you do have to do with the Ninja Creamy. It's been sitting in the freezer for over 24 hours. Put your top on, locker in place, power, and we're gonna hit ice cream. All right, so I brought in my favorite taste testers, Colton and Caden, my boys. So we just finished spinning that. So we've got some ice cream here. Woo! Mm -hmm. Jamie's licking his chops there. So we gotta get the pallets prepped first. All over his face, anyway. Oh, look at that, guys. Two scoops? All right, so, whipped cream. And then we got some melted Nutella here. So I'm just gonna back out here for one sec and let the boys step in. And? So I think it's fair to say, uh, blending the Ninja Waffle Maker, Belgian Waffle Maker, and the Ninja Creamy creates happiness, apparently. So let's sort of take a break, reset, and then we're gonna talk about this product. So Jamie and I created the Average Kitchen Scoring Matrix that we've been doing for 10 or 12 videos now, where we have six categories and we sit down and discuss a product sort of towards the end of our shoot and then give an overall score out of 10. Price of this product was $99 Canadian. I believe Jamie said 79 US. 79 US, 99 Canadian. So price point out of 10, we give that a 7.9. It's, it's reasonably priced. A little higher than maybe some waffle makers you can buy on Amazon, but reasonably priced. Functionality, it worked really, really well. It worked really, really well. So we gave that an 8.4. Versatility, well, I mean, it does what it says it can do. It's a waffle maker. It's not a uh, Ninja air fryer, 14 and one, so on and so forth. So seven, three on that. The cleaning, I mean, the grates themselves, they're still super hot, can't clean them yet. They probably just need to be wiped down. There's some drips on the outside, which I think we've established is unavoidable, but so far it looks like it's easy to clean. So eight, one on that. 8.5 on the size. I mean, it's not very big, it's not very heavy and 7.7 seven on the quality. So overall, it gives us a 8.1. 8.1 out of 10 is what we score this. I think it worked really well. I don't really know why you have to cut off that piece every time. And even when Jamie and I did these last five waffles, we were trying you know, okay, to tweak here and there. I, I guess it's just the way it is. You gotta cut off that piece that's still some raw dough, or raw, raw batter, I should say. It's just what it is. Overall, I like it. I think it's gonna get a lot of use around here. If you wanna support us and you want us to continue to provide these videos of reviews, because we're independent, we are not associated to any company, we buy all the stuff ourselves, we buy all the food ourselves, and we do these reviews for you, the consumer, to be able to make an educated choice on what you may or may not wanna buy. So if you wanna help us out, hit the like, and hit the notification bell and subscribe. That's the best way to help us out. And of course, we love all your comments. We love hearing where you're from all over the world. That's our video, hope you liked it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.